Dwayne here, phoenixstarfighter.com. We're going to look at this uh, little Remy Scout. It's like a Remit, or maybe even a Remington model number five. It's got the type bars that lay flat. This one's got the crank on the side, cranks the type bars up like that. Let me get some action, but this has no action because the draw band's broken back here. I hold it and it'll work. So, we're going to put that in there today. Let me lower this back down just for fun. Okay, so, I've already taken the draw band off. I did that on another video. Or, uh, or looked at the draw band. It connects over here. And uh, I verified the uh, mainspring is still good under here. So, it's still good. It winds in that direction. I put that little arrow on there so I can remember while I was doing this <clears throat> but uh so the old uh draw band was broken um two it was broken in the middle and broken off the end clip which looks like this little piece so I already one good thing about having the old draw band or string and stuff is you can tell the length because you have an old piece to go by, but this one is extra extra long because the way it installs it has to actually uh, feeds through this little hole here first, and then you can put a knot on it and, and tie it off. So I've already fabricated a a new string. It's just heavy duty fish line, and it's kind of long. But we're gonna attach that back here. We're going to start on this particular one. We're going to start where it attaches, which is right way down here. You can't even see it. Let me crank this up a little bit. Get this up here a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Okay, yeah, it connects right to the screw right there. And let's put this in there so. It's got a certain direction, you know, it shouldn't go this way because it would have a tendency to pull out. So it goes that way, so it, has a, it pulls against that little angle right there. So that just drops in just like that. In fact, it goes this way, like that. Kind of line it up, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So this band, this piece goes basically behind this piece right here, all the way to that pulley right there. So we somehow have to fish it through there. And I thought maybe I could just it won't fit underneath here, so let's try. I think I'm gonna have to use my little uh extension rod here. Let me get this tool out here. Come on. got the extension rod here so I can extend this all the way out and I can feed it right through here I think right there all the way through and we're gonna grab this, this cable here or the string just like this let's grab it and pull it through So we got it. We're going to pull it through. Right there it is. 
just like that and then this thing collapses back down to so I can fit my toolkit and we got the string through right there so that's our, that's our string and it's going to go this particular model has got to go through this little piece right there and it goes around that pulley so then we're going to have to work on this from the other side and get some more tools here so I can manipulate that piece Push this through. Get that string on the bottom there. I'm gonna flip this thing around and work on it from the bottom. Okay. This one is pretty straightforward. It's uh we're going to tighten up the mainspring all in one action here. So, so this will go around this pulley and head right here to the mainspring, just like this. It needs to go into this little uh, slot that's right. There's a little hole. It's hard to see. There's a hole right there. So you can see my spring clip coming through there. So that's what the after after I tighten it the spring up, I'm gonna feed this through there and then tie a knot in it. So this is, gets a little tricky because I gotta get this uh gotta kinda need three or four hands to do this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wind this up and put some tension on this. What that's also going to do is compress the spring inside. You can see it right in there. It's going to get compressed, and that opening right there is going to become more accessible. Right there, another couple winds maybe. This gets pretty uh, under a lot of tension. That hole has gotten nice and big right there. I'm going to go ahead and go one more turn, I think. Oh. Uh, yeah, there go. There go one more. There we go. So now it's... I need to hold this. Feed this through. That little hole. Right there. Fetch it. Somehow. Let me get another tool here. Feed that string through that hole. There we go, right there. Just like that. Now we just need to tie a knot in here at the, about the right length. So the carriage is all the way over, so it's pretty much where it needs to be. And uh, let's see, we'll put this on there here. So the knot. It's got, got itself tangled around this, uh, this post right over here. Get this out of here. There we go. <clears throat> so I'm still holding tension on this. And now I have to tie a knot in here somehow. That's going to be the tricky part. Is I want to get a knot. I'm going to get a knot in here. I'm going to move this carriage over some, I think. Get a little slack on the, uh, slack on the, uh, drawstring. Use paper. There we go. So this will pull through a little further. So I want that knot right about there. So I'm going to find some way to lock this in place here I think. I think we're gonna see if this will hold not just put some clamp on it here somehow or something. Let's see if I can 
There we go. Look at that. That'll hold tension on this, so I'm just going to tie a knot off here. And it's got to be a pretty big knot. Multiple knots here, build that up, make it a little bigger. Get this little hand right on that other knot. There we go, just like that, that's close enough. Do a third one here. And I'm gonna just uh, get this done here, stick this other knot right between these two. To uh, make a bigger knot here. And I'm going to go one more just to make sure it doesn't slip out of there. Make sure we get a big, big, bulk, bulky knot right there. There we go. I think that's probably good enough right there, so we'll find out. Cut this off. This type of string has a little bit of a, it's got, you can melt the end down here a little bit like this. Like that right there. I'm going to test the strength here. Put something on here, pull on that, yep, looks strong. Now we're going to release the tension and let's put the uh, oh, I'm looking for this, I'm looking for the spring hook and I got it wedged in here. Okay, so that's free. I'm going to make sure this string gets in the right place down here. Right, like that, and that's it. I'm going to release the tension. Let me move this carriage a little bit, and it's going to pull that slack up right there. So I'm going to just let that fall right into that hole, just like that. There it goes. I think she's she's good. Tilt this thing up. Let the carriage release. Good. Line up good. It's just about the right length. It might be just a hair too long, but it's not going to affect anything. Tension feels good. This is good to go. Put some oil on the spring down inside of here, right there. successful draw band. There she goes all by itself. Alright, let's go. keep here and type in this thing. Oh, <laughs> this machine has no shift button. Oh yeah, I gotta put the basket up. There we go. Working again. All right, that's how you do a draw band on a little. Uh, I'm telling you, a little Remy Scout. This machine doesn't even have shift. It's only got capitals only, no shift buttons, no backspace button, no margin release, no margins. It's a pretty interesting little machine. But we do have the draw band working. 
back back the way it was. Alright. Phoenix typewriter, good day.